One man dead today, another in police custody after what police say was a dispute between rival motorcycle gangs in Port St. Lucie. This shooting happened over the weekend at a bar right near Southwest Port St. Lucie Boulevard. WPTV News Channel 5's Kate Hussey with insight this afternoon from police and what that arrest affidavit actually reveals. Now, police say it was right here in this vicinity behind Harper's Pub that they found the victim, 39 year old Keith Johnson. They say he was shot five times and that he was likely a member of the motorcycle gang outlaw. Now, the man accused of shooting him, a member of a different motorcycle club. According to this arrest affidavit, Johnson came into Harper's Bar early Sunday morning. A witness who is also a friend of the victims told police around the same time three men all believed to be in the pagan biker gang walked in and that the victim Johnson said he had a quote bad feeling believing the three men were stalking him. Surveillance footage shows Johnson walking out of the building at 1.58 a.m. and that seconds later a man named Elijah in Chateauguise who police say is a documented member of a biker gang called the undocumented nomads followed him out. A witness says minutes after the men left the bar, he heard gunshots and saw a man he later also identified as in Chateauguiz shooting at the victim. It was shocking to all of us that, that it actually took place. Um, you know, we all know that this sort of thing does take place in, in a society today. But it happened here and that it was shocking. Yeah, the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office tells me biker gang activity is not something they see in their jurisdiction often. But Port St. Lucie police say both the unwanted nomads and the pagans are documented biker gangs that operate in and around St. Lucie County. Well, according to the arrest affidavit, there were other men suspected to be pagan gang members that followed Johnson here outside of the bar. We have not been told of any other additional arrests, but you can see Port St. Lucie police are still out here investigating. They say this investigation is active and ongoing. Reporting in Port St. Lucie, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.